My greetings to all of you, and in particular, congratulations to the 15 newly nominated members of the Truth and Dignity Commission. More than three years ago, Tunisia set an example by becoming the first country in the region to revolt against an unjust regime in the widespread movement to demand freedom, equality, and dignity. Today, Tunisia is once again a model and an inspiration across the region and indeed the world by setting up free and fair mechanisms to examine past human rights abuses, promote accountability, establish the truth, and provide recognition and reparations to victims, this country has taken a great step forward. I sincerely congratulate all the actors who made this possible. The path that has led Tunisia to adopt its transitional justice law and create this Truth and Dignity Commission has been unique in many ways. It has been shaped by comprehensive and highly inclusive consultations, featuring significant engagement by Tunisian civil society actors and activists. This is an encouraging sign for the future. Experience has shown us that the key to success for any transitional justice process is mechanisms that are set up and operate in transparency and openness with the participation of civil society actors. Today, this commission is poised to meet a vital challenge. Victims of human rights violations have huge expectations from you. You can be instrumental in healing their wounds and in helping to re-knit the fabric of society and re-establish a sense of community and common destiny across this country. Only the careful and incremental establishment of the truth leading to recognition of injustice and sincere attempts to repair the harm that has been done can achieve that national reconciliation. In building this remarkable commission, Tunisia has shown great leadership. It has demonstrated that it can learn from the experiences of other countries to shape its own path, specifically tailored to the Tunisian context. I am confident that the 15 commissioners will continue to find comprehensive solutions to encourage the participation of all victims and establish trust, accountability, and justice. The Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights is proud to have accompanied this process of building Tunisia's Truth and Dignity Commission. We will continue to support your important work. Congratulations, and I send you my best wishes for the beginning of this important work.